Ooh, that's a good color. How does this look? Ooh, I like it. Is it okay if I get lipstick on your cup? So I was asking that, I was like, lipstick? You're gonna wanna look at yourself. Look at me? No, you're not gonna want that. to. Oh. But people can tell. But don't. <laughs> yeah. Are you too drunk for this? No, I'm actually relatively okay right now. Oh, then finish that. Cheers. <laughs> um, I said finish. Okay. Oh. This is exciting. It is exciting. Hello and welcome to my channel. So close. <laughs> Hello and welcome. My name is Jocelyn and this is one of my best friends, Paige. Hello. If you follow my channel at all, you may know that she is the amazing person who gifted me, purchased the rest of the ColourPop Kathleen Lights Zodiac Pigment Collection. So this is my miraculous friend. Lord. I've never been called miraculous before. <laughs> We drew inspiration from Kathleen Lights and Jesse Smiles and their whole drinking saga. If drinking offends you for some reason, maybe this isn't the video for you. I have other very sober videos on my channel. Feel free to click off and click on one of those. But this is my first ever video involving alcohol. I think they're really fun to watch. I really enjoy them. All of my YouTube videos involve alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be linking Paige's channel below because she doesn't have one. Thoughts on thoughts of drops of drops. Thoughts on drops. So, I have a series on my channel called Thoughts on Drops. It is inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I'll link her channel, her series down below. But this is Thoughts on Drops. So basically, we're just gonna be talking about new makeup releases, our thoughts on them. Thoughts on, on drops. Thoughts. It's very serious. And we are gonna be consuming alcohol throughout the course of this video. So again, if you're not down for that, please click off. But if you enjoy some giggles and some shenanigans, please stick around and That's hear our thoughts on these new makeup drops. Most of what I will be talking about, I don't know if Paige has anything from Instagram or whatever to be talking about, but most of what I will be showing is from Trend Mood. If you are not familiar with Trend Mood, they are an Instagram that is always up to date on the new makeup drops. Most of what I will be doing is providing commentary and drinking alcohol. I have got a concoction of tequila. Don Julio? Yep, tequila. Tequila. <laughs> oh, something else I should mention is that she works in a bar. Okay, so we're just gonna be chatting about new makeup releases. We're not just gonna be saying if we're gonna buy these things or we're not gonna buy these things. We're gonna be talking about what we think of them, if we think they're good releases, if we're interested in them. Just I'm gonna be talking about if I was a millionaire, would I buy it? Maybe not. Because you'd buy everything. That's a valid point. If you had... We're not going to be talking about whether or not we're <laughs> buying these products. No, yes, I am. We're just going to be giving our commentary. Both. Okay. <laughs> Both. Have you seen the new Urban Decay eyeshadow palette? They expanded oh, their naked the... Yes. Yes, I have. Okay, so well, mm -hmm. there's some pictures. Wow, yes. <laughs> this is Naked Reloaded, right? So it's yeah, like, so it's like the re So it's like okay, the so they got rid of their old naked palette. Introduction of the Naked palette. Like this is the new and improved Naked palette. Right. Which I get it. I appreciate the bigger pan sizes. I don't know if you noticed. I know this is an old release, but I haven't talked about it. It's been a long time since I filmed one of these videos. So first of all, I appreciate that the transition shades, the beige shades are larger pans because mm -hmm. typically you go through mm -hmm. those ones faster, but also this is super neutral. It's super neutral, but I recently bought the Naked palette, like the OG when mm. it was going out because I never I never had it before. Right. Like I wasn't super into makeup at the time when it like was going off. So I recently bought it when it was on sale because it was going out and right. I've only used it maybe five yeah, times. times. Yeah. yeah. So I was honestly kind of disappointed in it, but looking at this, like I wish I had purchased this over Instead that. Of the other one. And maybe that's yeah. kind of the point. Yeah, I definitely think that this one's got some more unique shades. And yeah. I, I appreciate it has like, like a for peachy somebody, shade. Yeah. For somebody just coming into makeup who likes neutral shades, I think this is a really good choice. I love mm -hmm. the Naked Formula. I have the Naked Cherry, which I use all the mm -hmm. time and absolutely adore. I have the Naked Heat, and that's like, Naked Heat, that's same. like my yes. favorite. Mm -hmm. But this, like if I didn't already have that one and I had a million dollars, I would yeah. purchase I would purchase this. I think it's definitely not a bad release. I appreciate it more than the velvet packaging of the original Naked oh, palette. The packaging. Yeah. Don't even get me started. I'm not gonna buy this. You can move on from that one. We've got Next. So this is oh, the St. Patrick's Day. No. <laughs> What? <laughs> the St. Patrick's Day palette. Have you seen this? No, I have no idea. Oh, what that okay. Is. So this is by a brand called Certify. It is their what is this called? Oh, this is the Affinity 2 palette. So it is a blue-green palette. 
you're not super into colors right i'm not super into colors i'm not super into shimmer i like oh that's right i forgot you like yeah like matte. i really like matte i mean obviously today i have like a little bit of shimmer i like shimmer like i'm not anti-shimmer but like if i'm gonna buy a palette i want it to be More the majority matte. i like matte yeah and also blues i'm very picky with because like three out of five of the blues look purple to me also my skin turns everything purple like the oh, eyeshadow that, that i'm wearing issue. yeah the eyeshadow that i'm wearing right now is fully like gray black and brown and it looks kind of purple i say gray i'm really into greens and blues right now i think this is gorgeous well and our eye colors are like opposite so like we both have blue eyes no yes we do our eyes are not the same color put them on no they're not the same color but we both have blue eyes mine are a little yours are like green mine are blue green i love colors i'm getting really into color i mean i don't think i'm wearing any colors today just like purpley pinky colors but i think this is beautiful i'm only allowing myself six palettes this month this okay this so month, out of your month, six this year this is one i'd be very interested in buying really yeah but four okay. out of my six can be from indie brands and certify is an indie brand oh i don't That's know how much it is so ever since you made that post about like getting an indie brand and like mm -hmm. all that like that has made me so much more like aware oh, there are other brands out there aside yeah. from what's in like sephora and yeah all because like mm -hmm. seriously like if you came and looked at my makeup collection it's like the oh. most like indie thing that i have is bare minerals like seriously Which is not like, most of my make makeup is like fenty because that's my all-time favorite i have a lot of bare minerals just because i used to work there i have a lot of morphe just ever since going to las vegas where there's an actual morphe store because i don't like to buy makeup online yeah it's yeah. just i mean like when now primarily like if you're into indie brands that's yeah kind of the only way to get and like brands online. that i've experienced no problem buying online brands yeah. that i've it never be tried hard. before i'm like okay like what if the price point is indicative of the quality true like which mm -hmm. is not that's a marketing like that's not true but it's like in my mind like do i really want to like yeah pay for something wait for something have it get here and then not like it yeah i'm not gonna return and it. then typically with indie brands you all you there is no return policy because they're indie brands they're yeah. more small low-key mm -hmm. also there's shipping costs and a lot of indie brands are also across seas there's a lot of things to think about when you purchase yeah. from an indie brand but at the same time i think it's also really important because i want to support these small yeah i 100 percent agree creators. with that because i think mm -hmm. that like smaller companies have a tendency to actually make higher quality products for sure or even interesting though, products too interesting yeah, yeah. and like you different need, yeah. like they're in a whole different niche yeah anyway so yeah, yeah. i wish i had more indie stuff but i don't have any that right. was the whole point and of this that was my foray. goal. Yeah, that's my goal this year. That's my goal this year. Indie palettes, that's what we're talking about. I'm allowed four palettes this year. I'm on a low buy. I'm trying to only buy six palettes this year, which is still kind of Only six for the whole year? Yeah. How many palettes have you year. bought so far? I haven't bought any palettes this year. I know, we're already it's in March. March. I know. Indie palettes. Indie palettes. Indie brands. I need a pretzel. Oh, wait. So the palette we were just talking about, I don't think I said the name, was the Infinity 2 palette by certify mm -hmm. it looks like it's on pre-order shipping april 18th for 43 dollars so let's talk about anastasia beverly hills one of our favorite my favorite brands yeah mine my, my too this is a brand that i actually know about so i'm ready Paige actually just literally right before we sat down and turned on the camera discovered the beauty of the modern renaissance palette. oh yeah oh i have it Bed. This is so exciting to me. Okay, everybody, this is the Renaissance palette. Literally everybody Modern on YouTube Renaissance. knows. There goes my brush. <laughs> literally, I thought it was a shame. I was like, Ugh. okay, Paige, literally everybody on the internet knows about Modern Renaissance. She's just very late to the party. But I'm so late to the party. Okay, I love makeup. I love doing my makeup. I feel yeah. like I have yes. learned a lot about it and practiced a lot, but I am like so not up to date on like news did you just burp and ruin my monologue <laughs> did you just ruin your lipstick no fix it over there i'm talking <laughs> all i was just all i was gonna say is that like i love this palette and these are so my colors like love letter venetian red and red what is this ochre mm -hmm. those are like Ugh. back to anastasia beverly hills so we're doing the new anastasia palette. yes the new abh palette the riviera palette i was in ulta the other day and they had it there but it was like on the second shelf and I, I couldn't like get it out just to actually look at it i don't think i've ever purchased an abh palette right out of the gate i've always gone into a sephora or an ulta to look at it i haven't bought the last two i haven't bought the sultry palette 
or the what was the other one? There was another one that came out. Soft oh, the Norvina. No, I bought Norvina. I oh, didn't buy and, Soft Glam. Yeah, and Soft Glam. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. are the last two. Or did it go? No, it went Soft Glam. Fun Norvina. fact: the only Anastasia palette that I own or have ever purchased was it really is... only the Sultry palette? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I have three. So my best friend Bree bought this palette, the Sultry palette, and she was going on and on about it forever. And I was like, no, I don't want that palette. I don't want it. I don't want it. I went over to her house and did my makeup at her house. And I happened to use that palette because it was Halloween. Mm -hmm. And I was oh. like, oh God, I need this palette. I need to buy this right now. I waited and I waited and I was responsible. Well done. And when I could, I bought it. I freaking love it. I'm actually wearing it right they're, now. They're very neutral palettes. They're beautiful palettes, yeah. but they're very neutral palettes. But the Sultry, like I have many similar tones, but I don't have any that pigment the way that it does like oh, i am a hundred percent a believer in the sultry palette like oh buy that's because abh has really really good form they're really um, soft they're very blendable yeah so any palette they come out with that i love the colors getting it speaking of that all right so we back to the review okay, i'm palette. sorry <laughs> i know i was just like oh that's what we're talking about so this is a very bright palette Mm -hmm. You're not super into bright palettes. I'm not. Except your lips. I feel like you sometimes I'm go... bold with my makeup, but I use neutral colors, I feel. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Dark. So this probably okay. isn't something you'd be interested in. That. I am not interested in that. The only shade that I like is the dark brown. <laughs> no, well, like, legit. Like, really? I love you. Well, I love Anastasia. I am not offended. I love Anastasia and I love you. And if someone gave it to me for free, I would for sure reuse it and like put it to use. But like, if we're talking about my money and my income, it's Perfect. not number one. I'm gonna yeah. have other stuff like that's gonna come up in this thoughts on thoughts on drops on drops that I'm gonna want more and yeah. I'll let you know when that happens. Yeah, I, I, okay. So thinking just the brand releasing this, I think it's interesting. It's very colorful, mm -hmm. which they haven't really done too much of. They have true. the last two, Soft Glam and Sultry were very neutral. Norvina was a little more outgoing. It had like purple, pink, Yeah, Norvina colors. definitely has I love like, Norvina. Color. If I'm gonna buy palettes with my income, <laughs> like they're gonna be ones that I can wear most of the colors most of the time. Riviera palette. Palette, Riviera. I'm probably not gonna buy. I think it's beautiful. I think it's interesting. I think I'm that it's a good 100 choice. I'm 100 not gonna buy it. The brand, the formula is great. Mm, just this color so selection, good. I feel like I'm just I wouldn't reach for most of these shades. And the shades that I would reach for, I already have. Oh, did you see this? I have better pictures. Hold on. Okay, I saw that for a second there when is. I was in Sephora today. But like, wait, was... it's in Sephora already? Yeah. Oh, I, I literally it. like I saw it and I was like, <laughs> you were like, nope. I was like, oh, that's really not interesting to me. Yeah, sorry. It's got a lot of neutral shades, though. It's got some blues, though. It's actually, a majority it's of this is It's very shimmery, blue. and it's very blue. Is it really a majority shimmer? It's got four. Shimmer, oh, shimmer, 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 shimmer. I bet there's two yeah. true matte shades in this. It looks like there's, yeah, three. It looks like there's three. Okay, so we are now talking about the Tarte. Rainforest of the Sea High Tides and Good Vibes palette. Look at how pretty those are. Okay, for every metallic shade, we have to take a shot. Just no, kidding. absolutely <laughs> not. Ugh. So I have two metallic type palettes from Tarte. I can't mm -hmm. remember what they are off the top of my head, but I know that How's I have them. How's the pigment on those? They're beautiful. They have the metal. So I love metallic shades in general. I know you don't love them. I freaking love <laughs> metallic shades in general i love shimmer i love it in the inner corner i love it all over the eye love it i think this is interesting for tarte they have a lot of blue tones i have something cool to tones. say about this palette please i love the packaging like oh. i am a sucker for packaging no even oh. when you open it like this okay yeah so like it's geometric it looks beautiful. Like if somebody came into your room and was going through your makeup like a weirdo and open, <laughs> if someone opened that, they'd be like, oh my God, this is beautiful. This, this is, is expensive. Cool. This is cool. Yeah. So I love that. And I love it when companies take the time to like make put, something interesting, put thought. Yeah. Make yeah. it interesting and put thought into like how you're presenting your products to the consumer. And so that I appreciate if it was more neutrals and more mattes, I would buy it. I actually, I get that. But I feel like a lot of people also 
really want something interesting. So they want something with mm -hmm. not, not just a pop of blue. That's a really, the pop effect. I don't know if you heard of that, but the pop effect is when they have all mostly neutral shades and then mm -hmm. one pop of color. Yeah, and, and you're like, like, I'm buying it that. for that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with I that. And this, that. I don't feel like this takes advantage of that, which is no, cool. No, no, there's a lot like, of blues there's in there. Like there for sure, like this is like purposeful. I love the yeah. packaging. If yeah. I was going for like a metallic or any blues, this would be my number one pick. But yeah. If you wanted to get a little adventurous, because the blues aren't too outrageous. No. So that I think that if you wanted to They're usable get out of sure. your comfort yeah. zone a little bit, mm -hmm. it's got enough neutrals, but also those kind of pops, well, not kind of pops colors. This, yeah. It's got four, at least four blues in here, a silver shade, but a purple shade. But then it also has like a maroon, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's really, yeah. It's I a, think it's a solid I palette. I'm not going to purchase it, but I appreciate what they're doing. Love the packaging. Mm -hmm. Love that they're not taking advantage of the pop of pop of color pop, effect. Pop or... effect. <laughs> so you obviously won't purchase it. I won't purchase I... it, but I give it a good review. I think it's awesome and I love it, but I I won't be buying. I feel it. like you wouldn't buy it, but you would be super stoked if someone gifted it to you. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, this next one. Okay. Oh, the St. Patrick's Day palette by ColourPop. <laughs> you know. Yes. <laughs> so this. Really? Yes. ColourPop. So this is the Just My Luck palette. This is also, some of these are kind of old news. Again, it's been a long time since I filmed one of these videos. I know that you're not into colors. No! Come back! We both love ColourPop. I just First did a huge ColourPop order and that's like the most that I've spent with one brand in one purchase. ColourPop is great because they're affordable. They make really great products. Mm -hmm. I think this is an amazing release. People, so you may not know this, but people have been asking for toned palettes. So the same toned palette. They didn't want a green palette with three greens and six neutral shades. They wanted a focused palette of one color scheme. Okay. So I think this is awesome. It has received really good review, not reviews, but like feedback mm -hmm. online. I think it's like 12 bucks. No. -uh. Their, yeah, their price points are super good. Yeah. I just recently purchased the stick foundation from them, as well as the bronzer, as well as like a bunch of oh, color yeah. products. And I loved everything except for one, which I'm pretty sure was user error. But anyways, my point is I made a huge purchase and I loved pretty much everything that I got. For me, in the past, like ColourPop has been eyeshadow only. But since I was making an order, I decided like, oh, I'm gonna get free shipping. Like I wanna try some of their base products and face products and like the contour. And I was super happy with them. So again, if this was a color scheme that I liked, 100% would purchase. Maybe you need to step outside your comfort zone. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I would be interested in buying it for $12. For $12, but this is my only palette from them essentially for the year. So I don't know if I'm ready to make that commitment. <laughs> I have the hiccups. <laughs> for $12, I think it's an amazing release. I think a lot of people are gonna be <laughs> really excited about it. <laughs> but at it. this time, I will not be purchasing it. Speaking of ColourPop, this is their spring release. You don't like it? I think it's so pretty. I have every single one of those colors in other palettes. Oh, the tea. <laughs> What are those? Oh, wait, okay. So there's jelly eyes. Are those shadows. different? Okay, okay. So in the spring ColourPop collection, they have a palette, which I think is beautiful. But you're right. I probably have all of these shades already. But they also have the jelly eyeshadows. Those are, are amazing. So they have they six new of those. They have relatively neutral shades. And I'm, into yellow. The, I'm into the jelly shadows. If you see a jelly shadow from ColourPop in a color you want, buy it. Okay. Mm -hmm. that, that's good to know. I think that some of these look really pretty and they have a lot of interesting ones like on their the green site. One, yeah. Okay. I <gasps> are, okay. So something you oh. should know. Okay. So we're going to be talking about the Jeffree Star, the new Jeffree Star palette. This is the, the blue blood palette. Okay. So something you should know. Jeffree Star is very controversial on YouTube. I have never followed him in the past. You just know his makeup? Barely. Like barely. Okay. Like I've seen one palette or something but like for the first time ever i watched his videos literally last week other than mm -hmm. that all i've heard about him is what i've heard from like you and mariah uh, people yeah hey mariah yeah so i don't have a strong opinion, opinion about him or another yeah i don't have a strong yeah. opinion about him so this will be very easy for me to be objective yeah about makeup okay so we're talking about the blue blood palette which is the newest launch from jeffree star cosmetics it is per the name says a blue toned palette i feel like we've had a lot of blues we've today. had a lot of blue i feel like the brands got the message that people wanted to see blue and green type of items come out it's got this 
Super bulky packaging. I'm not about bulky packaging at all. Mm -hmm. I like a sleek. How are we supposed, okay, bottom line, mm -hmm. how are we supposed to store that with the rest of our makeup collection? Out in the open. I hope you wanted a bunch of footage of me eating pretzels. <laughs> So that's the packaging. Not very storage friendly. Moving on. The actual shades themselves, it's blue toned. Again, we know that you're not super into the colorful tones. I really like though that he included peach tones with and gray. He has included in this blue palette a lot of colors that are not just blue. So you can really create a full look. Yeah. Unlike the certified palette yes. that we talked about earlier where exactly. it had this blue and green yeah. only. So if I was going to get a palette with blues, this would something probably like be this. in the front runner. Yeah, like yeah. I really like this and I appreciate what he did. Yeah. The as much as I may not be like a bright color whole palette person. Like the shade selection itself is really pretty. There's some mm -hmm. really pretty shades in here. But again, the packaging itself, I would never want to own that. Just the packaging, just the packaging itself. The packaging is a much. problem for me too. Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me on my channel. That's an intro. This is Jocelyn. We're in an outro. My name is Jocelyn. <laughs> Wait, we have one more shot to do. Oh, a goodbye shot. All right, so those are all of the products that we are gonna be talking about today. Those are our thoughts on these semi-new makeup drops. I know that some of these are older <laughs> rather than new. Hopefully enjoyed watching us jabber on about some of these new makeup releases. If you enjoyed, please give a thumbs up down below. Me and Paige have also been talking about doing a swapping makeup styles because we discovered that she does her makeup style so differently. So different. So she does her makeup differently than I do. So we were talking about filming some kind of tutorial where we swap the way we do our makeup and then see how well or not well it goes. <laughs> Let us know down below what you think about these new makeup releases. Are you gonna be picking any of these up or are you going to be passing by them? What are your general thoughts on these new makeup drops? Sincerely yours. Cheers, I love you. I love you. Oh. You did so good. Oh, are we recording? <laughs> what are you doing? My dad's trying to text me. That doesn't seem pertinent. <laughs> True. Okay, no, text I'll him back, text him back. I did, I already did. did. Did you send it? I asked him what like he's making you for dinner. You didn't send it. Oh, you did. <laughs> so I am gonna be putting screenshots up. Maybe I'll put them in the middle, like right here. You can put them on my boobs. There's like a large <laughs> canvas here. Oh, I think now is a good time for my fun fact. My fun fact is, I've always dreamed of being a YouTube sensation. Wait, really? Yeah. But I'm like, I'm I've way too before. ghetto, way too ratchet. Don't no, have enough you're money. Not. Don't have the equipment. Not beautiful enough. Okay, first of all, you do your makeup really well. <sighs> no. And you are beautiful enough. Maybe I should just guest star in your videos. Or we have that. The battery is <laughs> dying. <laughs> Wait. What do I say? Okay, that those are. I want to do another video right now. I know, but also I'm not sure I can focus enough. We're still being recorded. Why are you? Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is called Cats on Cats on Cats on Cats. 